everyone, this is Amaiti Kandria team and our content for today's vlog is all about the differences of two spring rubrics. All you need to do is just relax and listen and you will learn something from us today. There are two types of rubrics and of methods of evaluating a student's effort, the holistic and analytic rubrics. So what is the difference between holistic and analytic rubrics? Holistic rubrics in a single criteria rubrics or one-dimensional used to evaluate participants' overall achievements in an activity or item established achievement levels. These two pictures are, are examples of holistic rubrics, the holistic critical thinking scoring rubrics and the holistic rubrics for a landscape. Second is the analytic rubrics, rubrics that are two-dimensional with achievement levels as columns and assessment criteria as rows. These analytic rubrics allows you to use single rubric to score participants' achievements based on several factors. These two pictures are the examples of analytic rubrics. The performance analytic rubric collaboration and the analytic rubric for team participation assessment. The holistic rubric is consists of a single scale with all the criteria to be included in the evaluation and to be considered such as the clarity, the organization, and the mechanics. A holistic rubric is the most general kind. It lists three to five levels of performance along with the broad description of the characteristic that define each level. The levels can be labeled with numbers, letters, or even words. Just like in holistic rubrics, there are also things to be considered in making and designing analytic rubrics. First is to determine the purpose of the rubric by defining your purpose and think about the goal of your rubric. Another is write the task or assignment description for the rubric by reflecting on your course assignment and the elements in an excellent task description. Next is identify the performance criteria by considering questions like why are we giving student this assignment and what are its key learning goals or outcomes. To a rating scale by designing the rating or scoring scale for all criteria in the rubrics and giving each rating a name instead of just a number. Another is describe the performance level for each criterion by making sure that all criteria can be observed and measured when evaluating the submission of the students. And last is ensure that the rubrics is of sound quality by testing your rubric and getting peer feedback. And when it comes to the feature of analytic rubric, it is a grid of criteria which is in columns and levels of achievements which is in rows that provides a clearer feedback or feature on areas of strength or weaknesses. Holistic rubric is used when there is no correct answer or response to a certain task and the focus is the overall quality or proficiency of the content. Or in other words, holistic rubric if we want to assess a certain performance or a certain output as a whole. Holistic rubric on the other hand is useful for problem solving and application assessment because it lists categories for every component of the assessment that needs to be included. Analytic rubric is most helpful in determining which category showcases the strengths and weaknesses of the learners thereby helping the students for improvement. Okay, that's all for today's content and we will see you again next meeting. Bye-bye!